right, what's going on today? We are back. We're going to be opening up some more Silver Tempest and Paldea Evolved. These came out of four of those Costco bundles, which equates to a booster box worth of packs, 36 packs, 20 Silver Tempest and 16 Paldea Evolved. Such a good deal. You just really can't pass it up. And we're going to, you know, try again our luck to get either the Magikarp or the, I think it's the Iona out of Paldea Evolved, or we're also looking for some big hitters out of Silver Tempest, such as the Lugia V alternate art. So, wonderful, get it. I did all of the big red tins this time, ordered online. I think it was like still under a hundred bucks for this. So that's a, that's a pretty good uh, price for a, a booster box worth of cards here. So we'll see if we get anything cool out of these 36 packs today. Also, I'm working on a background. This is definitely not a finished product. These are like just ETBs turned inside out, the actual outside of an ETB. So I'm, I'm working on something a little more permanent, but uh, yeah, for today, this is what we got, as we got a non-holo out of our first pack there. And you know what? I'm actually just gonna do all 16 how they evolved first. That's what I meant to do, but I got distracted by my new background. We got some Silver Tempest ETBs and a Lost Origin ETB there. So just the one card at the front for these. I don't get confused. Looking for really cool art rares and uh, maybe even a special art rare. I forgot two reverses in this set and Mimikyu holographic there. But another Magikarp is definitely the most sought after. And then I think it's the Iona special art rare, special illustration rare out of this set that's also really big. We pulled some cool special illustration rares, and here we go again, messing that up. Special illustration rares and a uh, couple fun art rares as well, but none of the big hitters yet out of this set, but they do come in these tins, and it is a really cool set. So I am okay opening up more of this if we get a, our first hit, Chen Pao EX. Chen Pao, Chen Pao EX? I think it's one of the newer Pokemon from the Scarlet and Violet era here. So that's two packs in. Not gonna spend a whole lot of time dilly-dallying in this video because we've got a lot of packs to get through. So one at the front here. Got the water. Real quick here. Iona, looking for her. Wingle, and then a Corvus Squire, and then the boss's orders regular holo there. So nothing so far besides the one EX here. A lot of packs to go in both these sets. Be cool to hit something extremely rare on video finally. Out of these tins too, out of the basically $20 Costco tins, that'd be pretty awesome. Tinka Tink, Eskew, Iona, Knackle Stack, the Tandem Mouse, nothing out of the second spot here, and then a full art Clavel, Clavel, full art trainer there, so that's kind of cool. Lots of full art trainers, not a whole lot of value in them, but they do have a, you know, it's a nice silver border artwork. Not bad. Not really sure who Clavel is in general. Not up to speed on all the new games or anything like that, so might have to be educated a little bit further before I actually know who some of these trainers even are. Here we go. Come on now. I want to see something out of that second reverse spot. Nothing there. Giacomo, and then another Copperaja, Copperaja EX. Is that a new Pokemon? I don't know. Maybe it's from a, maybe it's from Scarlet and Violet era. Maybe it's from a different era. No idea. Got plenty of packs to go. I'm gonna try to just skip right through comms and uncommons without ruining anything. Let's see if I can do it. One to the front. We'll skip to there, and then see. Look at that. I just ruin it every time. So nothing out of this back either. The Pikachu reverse, kind of cute though. Come on, pal, they evolved. Three hits though so far, not bad. Just not any of the art rares, which I think in total, which I've mentioned this before, with this set, there's like at least nothing there either out of this one, Love Disc. I really want to get to the Silver Tempest anyways, but there's like at least like 50 art rares and special art rares out of this set. There's a lot of variety, a lot of variety out of this set. And the pull rates are much better than some of the newer one, newer sets from Scarlet Violet, like Twilight Masquerade and everything. So it's 
skip right to there. I don't think I, okay. We kind of did it right there. Q Fant, and then just another reverse there, and then the palm on. So, got the pack thing right, skipping the commons and uncommons, at least for Paldea Vault. Not really that interested in going through each pack, naming every Pokemon, because most of the time I don't even know half the names anyway. Here we go, energy card. We got a Tinkaton, we got a Mavistoff, and then a Snover. There we go. All right, so nothing out of that pack either. Three total hits so far. Probably a little over halfway through our 16 packs here. Get our code card there, get our energy card there, and then we'll just skip right to the good stuff here. Hey, look at that. Makuhita. Nothing and nothing. So, as I continue to do this, hopefully, I get better at these pack trick things. Not just the pack trick, but skipping the commons and uncommons that nobody really cares about. So, we do have a gold card, so that's kind of cool. I don't even know what the gold cards look like in this Magnemite. And a gold card, Chine Pow EX. So we got the regular EX, and now we got the gold version of it. Very cool. And then a double banger there with a Chi Yu EX as well, which the Chi Yu I think also has a special illustration rare out of this set. So nice, nice to see some pretty good pulls out of these tins. And usually I think it's just two packs of how they evolved out of each of the tins. And then there's two tins in every bundle, right? So you get four Paldea evolved. So it's nice to see that they do have hits in them as well with the gold Chen Pao EX. Very cool card there. See if we can do the trick again here. Skip and we're just gonna go right through it. Okay, whatever. Nothing in that pack anyway. We got four packs left, quarter of the way to go. 25% left out of our 16 packs. Here we go, one to the front. We got our energy card. We'll just take some of those off there. Peliper. Fletchender, Slowpoke, come on, let's see a, nope, just a Palmot, and then a Slacking. I wanna see an illustration rare now. We got the gold, we got the Fold Art Trainer, we got three EXs. We see an illustration or special illustration rare out of these last three packs here, that would be pretty sweet. Here we go. Skip some of these. I'm just gonna grab them off like that, who cares? Pseudo Wudu, Haunch Crow, Bum. Bombardier, and then the Hollow Luxray. Two packs left here, 16 packs total. Not really sure what the pull rates are on the uh, special illustration rares or the illustration rares from this set. I know it's definitely a lot better than the newer sets, as I mentioned, but let's see there. We got the Grusha, the Fue Coco, and then the Oricorio Hollow there. But we have not got one from this bundle so far of 16 packs which is just less than a booster box for this set for Pede Evolved here. Alright, last pack we'll go through it. Tandem Mouse, Sea Toddle, Knackley, Fuecoco, Practice Studio, Florigato, Quaxwell, Baxcalibur, and no art rares or special art rares out of Pede Evolved but we did get the nice gold Chen Pao. That is pretty cool. Other than that, just our three EXs and the full art. Now on to the main course right here with Silver Tempest. 19 more packs of this to go. Let's see if we can get something cool. I like that they have the Black Border Code card. That's always good to see. But I like that it has the Trainer Gallery. Still looking for the Rayquaza. Rayquaza VMAX from the Trainer Gallery here. Would be awesome to see. And then alternate arts and maybe like the Rainbow Lugia would be cool as well. Dragonair Reverse, and then a Gold V-Guard Energy. So there we go. Nice big gold pole from Silver Tempest. I don't have that one yet. So V-Guard Energy. Gold cards are supposed to be like the hardest to pull, especially since there's like not very many of them in each set, but we'll put that back there as our first hit from Silver Tempest and our second gold card of the day. Very cool. 18 more packs to go white border code card this time. Still not sure that it matters 
out of these tins or out of Silver Tempest, but we shall see. Rotom, Dreepy, Vulpix, Sandy Gast, Relic Camp. We got the Braxen, and then the non hollow there out of our rare spot. But the Braxen Trainer Gallery, very cool. Do have a couple of these already. Let's see, there are 30 cards in the Trainer Gallery, and I think I've hit maybe the 10 of those like four or five times each. So I'm still missing quite a bit of the 30 total, but here we go, black code card. Let's see something better than a hollow. Hollow's not guaranteed at a Silver Tempest or anything from the Sword and Shield area. S Sword and Shield era, there we go. Relicant, Walucha, Rufflet, the area dose, and a hollow Crobat. So that'll be our hit out of that pack there. Just the regular hollow out of a black border code card. But yeah, I, I found that the big red tin, small blue tin bundle has normal code cards. I don't know if anybody saw the video I did with the science experiment, but the big blue tins and the small red tins, every code card from Sword and Shield, uh, Silver Tempest, is a black code card. As we move on here to Fampy, the Miss Magus, and then the Fioni regular rare there. Let's go. I got two stacks I'm working off of right now. <laughs> Just going back and forth, I guess. White Border Code Card. We want that Rayquaza. We hit the Blaziken VMAX out of the Trainer Gallery. That, that artwork is super cool. Love that card. Wouldn't mind seeing that one again either. Beldum, Stunfisk, the Reverse Zubat, and the Verizian non hollow Rare there. Go back to this side over here. Running out of space here. Running out of space with packs and bolts and empty packs. Black border code card. Let's go. Let's go. Something better than a hollow. Something better than a hollow here. Lance, Clang, Crocoroak, Zubat, Eligium, Elgium, Fungus, Sandy Gast, Relicanth. Just the regular reverse here. Pal of Sand. And then a hollow Archaeops. So just another hollow. Let's go back to this side on the left. White Border Code card. Looks like we do have our fun little V-Star marker that you get randomly. Worker, Sunflora, Phoebus, Noibat, Snowrunt, Sandile, Fennekin. Come on now. The Radiant Alakazam, very cool. And then the non-hollow Cabalion. But the Radiant Alakazam, really one of the better Radiants as far as artwork and Pokemon Go in general. I know obviously there's the Radiant um, Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise from Pokemon Go. And then there's another Radiant Charizard from Silver Tempest. But the Radiant Alakazam, definitely up there with those ones as I'm gonna do four to the front, sorry. See if we can get something out of that trainer gallery spot. Let's go. Matang, Bunnery, Drowsy, Spinarak, Ralts, Krogunk, and just a regular reverse and then a non-hollow there. Back to this side over here. Come on now. 20 packs total of Silver Tempest today. Another white border code card here. So far it has been accurate with what the normal white border code cards would mean as far as the uh, hollow spot having a non-hollow. Sandial, the Solosis, and then the Incineroar, another non-hollow. Back to this one, Lugia pack artwork. Not a whole lot of hits stacking up. We only got three so far, and one of them's a Radiant, one of them's a Trainer Gallery. Another white border here. Come on now. What do we got? What do we got? Hypno, Honchcrow, Ninetales, Ponytop, Venonat, Ralts, Spinda, Pikachu, another regular Reverse, and then a Del Fox there. Back to this side on the right. Regilecki on the artwork. White border code card again. Four to the front. Come on now. Let's see something. Quadstone, Morpeko, Capturing Aroma, Litten, Murkrow, Swablu, Rotom, Bunnery, the Reverse Golbat, and then the non hollow Noivern. So four more packs on this side. On the left, let's go back to this one. Another Regilecki. Another White Border Code card. I'd like to see something textured out of that Trainer Gallery slot. That'd be pretty sweet. 
Come on now, let's see the Rayquaza. There's a Rayquaza V as well in this set. Nothing in this one though, another non-holo. And now we've got four packs on this side as well. So now we will be down to three on each side after this pack right here. Let's get a black border, there we go. Black border code card. Let's get something better than a holo. The last two black border code cards have been just regular hollows. Don Fan, Braxton, Lop Bunny, Meditite, Durant, Ralts, Fletchling, Dratini, just the regular reverse Pikachu, and another regular Hollow Dragonite. So the last three Black Border Code cards have just been the holographic. You see that a lot in Sword and Shield era. Expecting something a little bit better. Not that a V is much better, but at least it's something. And then you just get the regular Hollow. Kind of sucks, but that's all right. The price on these packs is too good to pass up. So you get a Lantern and then a non-holo Arcanine. Back to the right side here. Another Regilecki pack art. And another black code card. Come on now, let's see something special. Something better than a holo, please. Let's see here. We do have, looks like a V, just a regular V card in the back, but maybe there's something in front of that with the trainer gallery spot. We will find out, doesn't look like it. Rotom, and then the Reggie Drago V, just the regular V card there. Reggie Drago, we got four packs left in total now with four hits out of our first 16 packs, that is. So now we'll go with the Reggie Drago artwork on this pack. White border code, just the one trainer gallery card so far. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Let's see if we can get one here. Dragonair, Ponyta, Venonat, Dupider, Spinda, Phoebus, nothing, and the, the oh, we do get a hollow though, hollow forest seal stone, maybe trainers don't count. Maybe trainers still count as a white border, even if it's holographic. Black border code card here, coming down to the end here. This is the third to last pack. We do have something good in that black border code card there. Something good in the trainer gallery, finally. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Krogunk, Solosis, Zubat, and we get the Corviknight VMAX, very cool. I don't have that one yet, and that is one of our textured, another hollow though. One of our textured trainer galleries, number 19 out of 30. Obviously not the most fan favorite Pokemon but the texture on these trainer gallery cards to make them look really, really cool in person with the different light. And we got somebody up here, I don't know, flying this Corviknight, like a helicopter, I guess. The VMAX bubbles above them. All right, last pack from the left side. Second to last pack in total. Not terrible in total here with how many hits we've gotten. How they evolved definitely came through with, you know, more more hits per the pack, I guess, but here we go. Second to last pack. Can we get anything out of the trainer gallery again? Let's find out. Nope, Dupider, and then the non-holo Verizian. All right, last pack here, Regilecki V, or Regilecki, I don't know if it's a V or V Max, or whatever. White border code card. Maybe it's lying to us. Maybe we get something cool here. It is nice to at least get the one black bordered you know, more rare version of the trainer gallery there with the VMAX. So if nothing else here with the regular Litten and then the non-hollow Arcanine, I think we still did all right out of 36 packs. We got the really cool Corviknight VMAX, got the Reggie Drago V, the nice Radiant Alakazam, the Braxin, and then our first or second pack actually was the gold V card energy. So not bad there out of our 20 packs, five hits, kind of what you expect. We had a lot more hollows than uh, we have in the past out of our Black Border Code cards, but out of Paldea Fates, Paldean, I'm sorry, Paldea Evolve, not Paldean Fates. We got that Gold Chen Pao, the Chi Yu EX, the Clavel Full Art, the Caparaja, and then the Chen Pao EX as well. So not bad in general. Yeah, maybe I'll try to do uh, Another one, maybe I have to get more of these online, but probably not. That might be enough for me. So anyways, take care, guys. See ya.